hello guys i'm back this is uni girl 75 i'm gonna be uploading a couple of videos so you'll see me wearing the same thing all right so let's jump right on in if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more of my videos when i upload don't forget to select that bell button and if you have subscribed go ahead and subscribe all right so let's jump right on in these lovely bags right here i have are my zip sack hobos um, I know I have shared these with you all individually, but I have them all together and I want to share these with you all together. All right, so I guess I will start off with this bag. Really, let me start off with this bag because I emptied this bag out for you guys and I can show you on the inside what it looks like because it's not stuffed like the rest of them. This here is the Zip Sack Hobo in the color Light Taupe. You have two zippers in the front two nice size zippers sleeve is in the way okay sorry guys I'm trying to I'm all over the place but yeah my hand fits in there so yeah it's a nice size zipper two nice size zippers in the front you have the tassel zipper pull nice zipper suede interior with the red cotton, cotton lining you have the zipper pocket zipper pocket in the back that nice duty and burke patch right there and this is a nice zipper two zipper pocket too you hold your hand reach down in here so your phone could fit in here better to the front that's the bottom to the side detail on both sides so that's the um, tag for the bag okay comes with a nice strap it's a three-part strap um, you can wear it as a crossbody but I have it set up for um, Shoulder bag, that's how I prefer to wear it, as a shoulder bag. Okay. And share with you the inside. There you have the zipper pocket and the slip pocket with the um, doing and break patch right there. See the red lining. See the key fob. This is the other part of the strap. I just keep it here just in case I decide to um, wear it as a crossbody. And then you have the two slip pockets. All right. So this is the light taupe. Well, zip sack in the color light taupe. Okay. And this was started my love for the zip sack. <clears throat> is this this one right here the natural the zip sack in the color natural same setup see the um, tassel zipper pull two pockets in the front see the detail on the side both sides zipper pocket in the back feet on the bottom And same inside that's my um, strap the extra part see you have the zipper um, pocket slip pocket <clears throat> and then the other side you have the two slip pockets if you can see two slip pockets and key fob zip sack in the color natural and next I have my navy gorgeous you get that leather mm. tassel zipper pull same setup got my strap in here extra strap same setup. And then key 
Butterfly. Zip Sack in the color Navy. Mm. And last but not least, my black. Now, when I shared this bag, it had white powdery stuff all over it. As you can see, she looks much better. I conditioned her. That's the tag for the bag. Let you look at her even closer. And then inside, same setup, zip pocket, slip pocket. Oh, I love how that black looks against that red like that. Um, then you got two slip pockets, but it's a snap pocket right here. And, of course, I have the extra strap. I choose to wear as a crossbody. And, if I can find it, leather key fob, guys. I just love this bag. This is an older bag. I love this bag. Um... My pursuit of happiness reached out to me and she told me that the um, white powdery stuff um, that's on this bag could be called the, um, let me get the right information guys. Use my notebook and jot stuff down. <clears throat> it could be called um, leather spew, if I'm pronouncing it right, S-P-E-W, which is caused when natural animal fat and fat liquors are left in the um, leather which can eventually migrate to the surface of surface and leave a white hazy film. So that's what I saw in the bag. And she told me um, I can get a blow dryer and put it on hot and blow all that white stuff off the bag and then condition it really well. I didn't um, use the dryer to blow, blow dry the stuff off. But I did condition it really well, and it came out to me perfect. Now you can actually see it in better lighting than when I showed last time. I think as a um, shorts video, you can see it much better now. I love this bag, my gosh, and <sighs> it smells so good. And, and, and what I mean by when I kept saying that it feels so good, it feels so like just buttery soft. It's just, oh my God, it feels so good compared. I mean, this has a beautiful patina and it's softened because I carried it for a while. And I just received this bag, but it doesn't feel as soft. It's soft, but it doesn't feel as soft as this black one. As well as this is soft too, but I don't know. This one right here, it just feels so it's smooth. I mean, it just feels so good, so soft. I love this bag. And then it just, to get a leather, <laughs> leather key fob, I love that. I wish they would bring that back too, the leather key fob. Like, yes. I love these bags. I think my collection is complete with a zip set. I think, unless they bring out a, 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 a plum color, you know, Guys know how much I love plum and or red. Yeah, I'll be all over it. But as of right now, I think I'm complete with the zip sack hobos. All right, so if you love the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more of my videos when I upload, don't forget to select that bell button. And if you have subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.